This is a 2024 Lagoon 65. It's the second largest sailing catamaran that Lagoon makes, only topped by the 77. I was able to get a walkthrough of the Lagoon 65 at this year's Miami Boat Show. This is the four cabin version with the galley down. All right, taking you to the luxury side of Lagoon. This is a Lagoon 65. I mean, I went through this boat earlier this week. There's not much I don't like about it. Although I will say, uh, yeah, you're gonna pay for it because it is expensive. Honestly, don't even know how much it is. But I mean, look at the size of this cockpit back here. Uh, you know, nice seating. You got this lift for your dinghy. You can even still walk around. That's that's great because a lot of times you can't walk around the back if you've got the dinghy, so it's kind of behind to manhandle it, but you got that. And then coming forward, you got uh, one cabin you can access through here. Oh, it's actually, oh no, that's right. I will show you guys this in a minute. Well, I'll take you down right now. How about that? This is the master cabin. You can access it from the interior or the exterior. And you come in just huge, huge space here. You know, a nice little desk for everything. And I mean, a settee, lots of closet space. You have your shower on this side. You have your head on this side. And then the coolest part is not only can you access from the outside, you go up this way and you are into the salon. And then the salon is huge as well. I mean, just a lot of space in here. And one thing that finally Lagoon has done that I've been wanting them to do for years, but uh, you know, it, uh, the, of course they only do it on the 65, is they have an actual door up here to the bow. I mean, you can walk right through, you have this nice seating area, really plush cushions. You can sit all the way around, you have a day bed on this side, you come out. I like how you, they kept the deck all the way out here, you're walking forward on this. Bow sprit, they don't have anything on it yet, but there's the bow sprit there, nice huge area. Pretty cool. I mean, just having that door and being able to walk through makes that space so much more usable. And then you have, just like on the 55, they have their carbon fiber masks that go for the sunshade out here, which is pretty cool. Um, and, uh, you know, down in here, you probably have some more storage, I'm assuming. Let's open those up and see what we got here. Oh, that was the wrong way. Uh, yeah, little captain's quarters with a head. And then I will take you back around and back into the salon. All right, just after the salon, it does have another entrance here. This is a galley down version. So the galley is downstairs. So this would be more of a crude type yacht. So you have a dining area there, your kitchen, full-size refrigerator coming forward here, more storage on this side. And then this would be your crew quarters. So, you know, your crew could be right next to the galley or whatever you need, you know, you could fit three people in here, I guess, or you could make it a kid's room or something like that. It has its own head. Uh, and then forward of that is another cabin right here. And then you can come up into the salon from here on this side. Okay, back outside into the cockpit here. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that this is the only access to the flybridge. Uh, I really like two ways to get to the flybridge. It just makes it easier to get up and down in a hurry if you need to. But, I mean, look at this flybridge. It's huge, absolutely massive. Uh, plenty of seating area here you got you know it's probably a grill or something here what is it it's a well it's a sink but you could make it a grill and a sink and trash can or whatever they have this is a trash can but I'd put your grill here your sink there big dining table and kind of the cool part is you have twin helms so whichever side you're driving on you can see better like if you're docking on the starboard side you can pull up to this helm and you can see the starboard side really well uh, you have uh, it does have a bow thruster in anything over about 55 feet, you're seeing a bow thruster on most cats these days. Uh, and then your Ray Marine is big, but I, I just don't like Ray Marine. Of course, all your powered winches here. Um, I'm a little disappointed that uh, there is no throttle controls on this side. So really, I mean, having a helm over here is kind of pointless. If there's no throttle controls, then, and you can't control your bow thruster, then there, there's no way you're ever gonna dock the boat on that side, so why even have that helm? So if you're gonna put a twin helm, put twin controls. You need to put your bow thruster, and your uh, throttle controls on both sides that way. Because I mean, I, I, I can't, I could be great if I could port side sot, tie, you know, over here using this helm, but you can't because I can't control the throttles. Although on a boat this size, again, I'd recommend getting a yacht controller. It's like a remote control. 
All right, so that is the Lagoon 65. A lot I like about it. It's, I think it's, well, I mean, they have the space to do all the improvements that I would like to have seen. A couple things I don't like. I do like the door. Finally, Lagoon's putting a door through it. I mean, it's just the galley down on something like this is really cool too. If on a boat this size, you're probably not gonna go cruising full time on it unless you have a crew or you're probably gonna do a crude charter on this boat. So that's why it has the galley down, but it's only three cabins. So, uh, you know, plus the crew cabins. Well, I guess you could put them up there if you wanted to, but nice boat, I like it. Of course, you'd have to pay for it. So thanks guys for watching. If you're enjoying the show, please click like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next boat tour. Next boat tour Tuesday.